What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to make a tutorial on how to install and use Fight K2, as well as help you guys with your ROM search. I won't tell you where exactly to find ROMs, but an extremely awesome gentleman by the name of Lofi1048 on Twitter has made it extremely easy to find ROMs for Fight K. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll install Fight K. I'll tell you about this ROM setup, and then you guys will be on your way playing classic old man games on rollback netcode. So the obviously the first thing we need is we need to find the emulator. So that's the easiest thing to take care of. To find the Fightcade emulator, we go to fightcade.com. Oh. And then just download whichever version you need for whatever operating system that you're running. I'm my Windows man, so I have the Windows version. Now, I already have Fightcade installed, but what you want to do once you have that installed is open up the installer. It'll ask you if you want to run it, hit run, and just allow the, inst allow the installation to go through. Install DirectX and everything. You need that for this to run. Once you have Fightcade installed, it'll show you the login screen. Now for me, it's gonna skip that because I'm already logged in, but let me see if I can log out so you guys can see. Mm, no, but the login screen is a giant version of this. If you already have a Fightcade 1 account, then it is already ported over to a Fightcade 2 account. If you need to create a brand new account, you can do it right here on the main screen. And another cool thing I want to shout out right here is these features down here. You can prevent quote uh, prevent challenges from low quality opponents, which I assume to mean you have a ranking system, opponents weaker than you. I'm honestly not too sure on what that means, but I do know what this means. You can prevent Wi-Fi and VPN challenges. So if someone's on Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi or someone's trying to hide it or spoof it, you can block those players from challenging you. Really awesome feature. And you can disable spectators if you're a Patreon. I wouldn't mind that. I want people to see my awesomeness. So once you have Fight Kate set up, what you want to do is in Google search Fight Kate 2 J S O N Jason Files. That's what you're looking for. Once you hit that search, I'm not gonna go as far now, but once you search that, it should be within the first two or three hits, the file that you need. And once you have that file, it's going to be called FC2ROMs. Once you have FC2ROMs, what you wanna do with this file is extract it, and you're gonna wanna extract it to your Fightcade folder you go to Fightcade Emulator. Fightcade Emulator. And unextract these files in the Emulator folder. That's where they have to be in order for this to work. Now, that is going to be located probably in your documents. You get to choose where that, where your Fightcade folder goes when you install the program. So, once you have that in, uh, unextracted in your emulator folder, this is where finding ROMs becomes a breeze. So let's say we want to play any game here. Let me just, for the sake of popularity, install Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I'll join the lobby. When you join the lobby, it will find and download the required ROMs for you in order to play the game. You don't have to scour the internet looking for ROMs anymore. So once you got it all in or downloaded or lobby joined, click on test game, you're good to go. All you need. Again, Lofi1048 on Twitter has hooked it up for us. He has made it extremely easy for us to find ROMs in Fightcade. Again, just whatever game you wanna play, join, Click on it. Some games have training modes now, which is really dope. Also, there's game resources up here at the top for a lot of popular games. So there's wikis for the game if you want to learn how to play it. There's discords, Facebook pages. Here's the training mode file if you want to install that yourself. All kinds of cool stuff in here now. Click on training. And then from here, if you want to set your buttons, just hit F5. And you can map your buttons however you like. 
I use, uh, well, I started using a hitbox, and I have that mapped up for everything. So, yeah, guys, using Fightcade and finding ROMs has become an extremely easy thing to do. And I hope that this tutorial is laid out in a way that makes it so easy that you wonder why I even made this thing. But anyway, guys, if you have any questions on how to get these things to work or if you run into any issues, hit me up in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. And I hope to see you guys in these old man game streets. Peace.